Hey everybody and welcome. Today's dining destination brings us to Bill Buckle Cafe. The historic town of Bell Buckle, Tennessee lies in between the cities of Nashville and Chattanooga. And here you can see some quaint small shops and check out these old fashioned gas pumps that are right over here at this little station. And then just behind me here, right next to the railroad. And by the way, the railroad goes to this town. This used to be a major stockyard town years ago. A lot of this town was shut down after interstates were built in the 1960s. However, back in the 1990s, this town was revived once they brought in the restaurant, the Bell Buckle Cafe. Another fun fact about Bell Buckle, Tennessee is the RC Cola and Moon Pie Festival is held each third Saturday in the month of June. And another festival that takes place on the third Saturday of March is Daffodil Day here in Bell Buckle. Look at this, guys. So this is an autograph wall, and right there is an autograph from Elmo and Patsy who ate here. If you're not familiar with Elmo and Patsy, they are the singers of the famous song, Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer. Here's another guy you may recognize, Marty Stewart. Rick Trevino, and I think everybody's gonna recognize this person here. Look at that, to the Bell Buckle Cafe. Love Dolly Part 1994. Alright, guys, so taking a look at the menu here. Here's the front. And they have a lot to choose from. They have burgers, salads, all very reasonably priced as well. Here are some sandwiches and the daily specials that are also listed. Down here, we got the kids' menu. Gentry went with the chicken strips. It does come with fries, but he was debating whether to go back and forth between getting a bowl of macaroni or the chicken strips, but it turns out you can sub the fries for macaroni, so uh, he got a little bit of both there. Here's some extras here. Basically the appetizers that you could order with your meal, as well as the platters. I went with the country fried steak. I'm real excited about this. I did want to get the pot pie, but they're currently out today. And here are all the sides that are available. And continuing on, they have pizza, pies, cobblers, and check it out, guys. They have homemade cakes, and they're known for their oatmeal cake with a caramel topping, which we're going to try today. And when we go to establishments like this, we always try to ask what they're known for, and one of the things they're known for is their fruit tea. But look at this. They've already bought out our refill before we even started on the first one. That is top notch service. All right, guys, here we go. We've got country fried steak with creamy coleslaw, fried corn. That looks pretty good. And then we've got a roll and some green beans. Gentry's already dug into his food. Gentry, how's the food? What did you start off with? Macaroni? All right. That looks like some really good homemade macaroni. Jennifer, what'd you get there? I got the smothered pork chop with turnip greens, fried corn, uh, fried cornbread and fried okra. Looks delicious. Henry is chowing down on some spaghetti. 
a lot of Parmesan. Is it good, Henry? When I take a bite of the coleslaw, this is a, the creamy coleslaw. They have a vinegar slaw and a creamy slaw. So I went before the creamy slaw. This coleslaw is so good. It's very sweet. It um, has a good crunch to it as well. It's a very good coleslaw. Next, I'm going to try the fried corn. Now, I'll be perfectly honest that when I got the fried corn, I thought it was going to be a corn fritter, like a deep fried corn fritter, but it's more of like a cream corn consistency. I can eat a whole entire bowl of this fried corn. It, it is that good. Gentry, now that you've had a chance to dig into the chicken tenders tip, tell us how the chicken tenders are. Okay. I like when I dip it in honey mustard. The honey mustard's good? And the red sauce on Henry's face is a true indication that the spaghetti must be good as well. Here we go, the homemade oatmeal cake, served warm with caramel sauce. Look at that. Here's the first bite of sopping up some of that caramel sauce. We'll see how it is. That is so good. The caramel sauce just really complements the sponginess of the cake. It, it kind of has like a little cinnamon bite to it. Uh, it looks like an oatmeal cream pie. If you think of an oatmeal cream pie um, in a cake form, this is pretty much what you're getting with some caramel sauce. It is really, really, really good. Jennifer's going in for her first bite of the homemade oatmeal cake. That's really good. And I don't like cake. And that's really good. I was going to say, you're not a cake fan. So for you to say that it's good, it must be really good. It's really moist. I'm not a cake fan. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us here at the Bell Buckle Cafe in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Gentry, what were your thoughts on today's meal? 10 out of 10. I really like the macaroni and cheese. It was cheesy and delicious. All right. Henry, did you like the spaghetti? Yeah. All right. Was it delicious? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and Jennifer, what were your thoughts? I loved everything. It was really, really good. Um, the boys even tried my pork chop, and Henry couldn't stop picking off my plate, the pork chops and the fried okra. But everything was good. <laughs> And I got to try some of Jennifer's pork chop as well, and it was phenomenal. Uh, the country fried steak was good. The green beans were great, uh, especially cooked in, um, you know, cooked along with the bacon and the onions. The fried corn was something different, but really, really good. I'm telling you, I could eat the fried corn just by itself. The oatmeal cake, that was very unique as well. Now, our waitress did ask. Our service was exceptional, by the way. Have to brag on the service. It was unbelievable. But I will have to say, our waitress asked, would we like some ice cream with the oatmeal cake? If we were to come back here again, we would definitely try a scoop of ice cream just to kind of cut a little bit of the sweetness. It was very, very, very sweet. And it was very difficult to eat more than really three or four bites, where I think that ice cream, a scoop of ice cream, would have cut down on how sweet that was. Guys, and Jennifer wanted to mention the fruit tea. Tell us about the fruit tea. It was so good. Britt and I could have probably drank a gallon to ourselves together. It was so, so It good. was very good. There's uh, only another place I can think of that that ranks right up there with it, and that's Miller's Grocery in Christiana, Tennessee, which we hope to do a review on very soon. Guys, thank you so much for coming along with us today, and we can't wait to see you next time on Every Day is Saturday.